Hey guys, how's it going? It's Helpful Lockpicker here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a hassle-free way on how you're going to be able to duplicate a do not duplicate key, just like the quick set one you see in front of you right here. Some more information is coming up on this topic in just a second. Please stay tuned. So I feel like this should go without saying, but nonetheless, I will mention it. Do not duplicate a key that you do not have any business duplicating. Do not duplicate does not bear much weight and it's more of a professional courtesy to try to protect the original key owner. However, it does not stand much weight. What I'm gonna do is give you some information on how you can make a copy of one of these keys, but please use it wisely. This goes with the same with lock picking or anything out there. Just try to be a true and honest person and do not abuse any of these techniques. All right, so how are we gonna duplicate our do not duplicate key? The first thing you need to do is just make sure the key is working. And then in order to do this, the most important thing I feel like you need to do is get out the human component. We're gonna eliminate the human component out of the equation altogether. So throughout recent history, you have maybe noticed there's a lot of fully automated key machines. So if a human were to read this, do not duplicate, they will likely respect it. However, when you look at the fully automated machine, what it does is it prompts you to insert your key into the machine just like this. As you'll notice, the part of the key that's not being read is going to be the bow here, so it's never going to see do not duplicate. And all that it does is it's going to read the bidding code going across, and then it's going to code cut that directly onto a new key. So if you go to a fully automated machine, you're not going to have a human that's going to read it and say no. And then you're gonna get a perfectly made key. And some of these machines even offer digital backups for you, which is pretty cool. So one thing you're gonna to need to take into consideration though is this is only gonna work on key blanks that are going to be common. Quickset, Schlage, Yale, anything that is commonly stocked. If you try to get a restricted blank or just something that is not very common, the machine will likely not have it and it will not be able to make it for you. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head off to one of these fully audit automated key machines and see what it takes to make a duplicate of this do not duplicate key. All right, so we have found our fully automated key duplicating machine. Let's see what it takes to make a duplicate of this do not duplicate key. Insert your key below. Please insert and hold your key below with the teeth facing up. Select your new keys. Your free digital key backup. Alright, so here is our copy do not duplicate key. And let's take this back and see how well it's going to work. So here is the key we we're able to produce when we successfully copied our do not duplicate key. This is going to be a quick set KW1 key. And right here is going to be the do not duplicate key that we copied. The bidding looks exact, it looks like it did a really great job. But let's check out this key and see how it does on our lock. So starting out with the key that we were able to get cut, we're gonna see that it inserts very well and it's gonna open up our lock very, very smoothly. And you can see that it's going to work just as well as the original key that was marked do not duplicate. So I just wanna say that we were able to have some really great success. This was a really great technique to be able to take the 
human component out of it, what that did was it allowed us to be able to just have the key measured from the bow to the tip. We're going to have the bidding code measured. It was able to cut us a key and it was never able to see that it was marked do not duplicate. So this is something that you can consider if you ever want to have a key made that's marked do not duplicate that you want to not run into any hassles. But either way guys, this is all that I have for you today. This has been a really quick video on how to make a copy of a do not duplicate key. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave those right in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out and I hope you all have a great day and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.